I would love to box. I mean, I would love a mega fight someday. I've obviously said Gervonta, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, well, our neighbor who that tried to fight funny, us back though. in the day, he kicked him and made him poop himself in the ring. Who would you be uh, more nervous to fight, Connor or Dustin? <laughs> Are you saving it for another pot, or have you talked about the impulse of it all and just being done with it? I don't really do sh train, play f cornhole. Bro. I'm nasty at that game. That in basketball, I could probably take you guys. Would you basketball. bet your eyebrows? Imagine if those brows go. It'll grow back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, thank you guys so much for we coming. Live skis? Oh yeah, I am live. I mean, like not live, live, but like you know, we're recording. You're on Twitch. Tim, always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim, f me up. I just want to start the the podcast by saying that he said something so pleasant. Like you, you think you're gonna be invited to his dojo, his <laughs> home, his, and it was so it, it was so exciting. And, uh, and then he's like, "Hey, where we are? We go a few rounds." And I was like, mm -hmm. "Okay, cool. obviously he has the brain capacity to go a little easy on me." Not no. only was he f***ing me up. But he started laughing and suffocating me. He would put his hand over my mouth, and I and he would tie both my hands around his legs so I couldn't tap. It's not nice. Until I was blue, that and then he'd be like, "Ah, oh, wasn't that fun?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> it wasn't fun at all." Tim does that every time he invites someone. He fucks him up back. Sure. Andrew crap. Schultz was just in. Tim fucked him up. I watched no. you beat his ass. I didn't fuck him up like that. Tim was fucking. What do you mean? Put it on him a bit. Why, yeah, right. Why do you do that? To establish dominance. Literally, I walk alpha. around the guard and the person's just bucking and spazzing. They're doing it to themselves. You do go. Are you taking extra. out your childhood trauma on these people? Yeah, probably. Uh, He's taking out a little something. How do you guys do it? How do you guys work together? Like, realistically, how are you good friends with him and yet is his coach? Like, is there no blurred lines? Like, do you guys not like, like, how do you push him to his fullest out of his box, out of his comfort zone, out of his like... Like, yo, you gotta, you're being like a fucking bitch right now. You need to keep going. But like, still be like, yo, you did great. That's, you're my friend. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Cause we were both kind of coming up together and, and learning and obsessed with like martial arts together. And, uh, I don't know. Every time we're in the room, it's, it's like, it's coaching time. And then we're messing around other than that. But he always knows how to push himself to the max without me having to be like, no, you're being a bitch or anything. He's always pushed himself as hard as he can without. Do you guys ever like scrap? That. We've tussled a handful of times. I mean, but like meant it. Like, no, nah, I'm over this shit. Maybe like, at the old apartment when I first moved there, if I didn't do the dishes. Yeah, he wouldn't do his dishes. So I said, you don't get to use the dishes anymore. We got so he's trying to mope around eating off his plastic like wrapper <laughs> and like eating it with his fingers. I'm like, well, you, you need to do your fucking dishes. Yeah, dude. we got in a couple scraps at the apartment. I love how they're over dishes. You know, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how to fucking do them. <laughs> yeah. No, I did. I just didn't want to. So your, your, uh, your whole legacy, bro, it's it's... You've worked your ass off to get to the point you're at right now. It's very exciting. That's true. In quotations, the sugar show is about to begin. The sugar show. I have a few questions just to, to, to wrap my head around your, your brain as a champion, just to like pick your brain a little bit, okay. to try to bring your knowledge into my world. I want to start with one, marijuana, right? Okay. How is it that you are so focused, driven, and still passionate when you're on the world's laziest drug? I just don't smoke as much as people think. I have a very healthy relationship with marijuana. Is um, it an everyday thing or is it like... Uh, I would say, yeah, pretty you, much. Every you don't night. have brain fog when you wake up? I don't... If you smoke too much, you will. Or edibles kind of fuck you up. They kind of make you drowsy, give you that brain fog. But if you smoke a good vaporized fucking marijuana at a good temperature, good quality organic weed, if it's a different high. It's like drinking shit fucking coffee or drinking a really good cup of coffee. It gives you a different high. A different caffeine high. Same with weed. I fuck with that. So it's good. I mean, I have no, I have no discipline. I, I I when I smoke, it's just like I'll face five joints to the face, and I'm like, okay. <gasps> it is fun morning, just getting like, dumb though. Just get fucking turned. It's off a vacation a from your mind. So like, it helps me like just kind of relax. But I, I was watching how you just you're performing at such a high level, and still like fucking. I quit. Smoking. I quit a couple weeks out. Like definitely two three weeks out, I'll quit and just get that extra little clarity. I swear the. I swear weed hits different when you're burning it in a joint or burning it in a bong yep. compared to vaporizing yep. it. So you guys are talking about the volcano and or you guys swear by that? Yeah. No way. Yeah. And like, okay. So it, is it like a pure, I don't even know how to like describe is it pure. Like what is it? How is it so different that every athlete says this The it, volcano is the way to go. It gets it to, I mean, it's just, it gets it to a perfect temperature to whereas if you're lighting a light, a lighter's fucking hot as shit. The volcano, you can put it to, I don't even know which temperature it is. I always have it at the same setting. 380 degrees, so you're not just... <laughs> so you're not just <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You knew exactly what degree it was. So you're in. not just torching the bud and just... 
inhaling it straight to the dome piece. But when, because before, when you first started smoking weed, were you smoking like, <laughs> were you I, smoking bongs and? <laughs> oh yeah, we loved the bong, especially at the apartment. That's all we smoked. I mean, I remember Danny and I fucking just ripping bongs, the giant bongs. I remember I had a video with Danny just <laughs> their smile at me, just like yeah, uh, yeah, we ripped that shit. We used to fucking hit bongs. That's all our, we would have. Yeah. I'd be laying on your floor in your fucking room. You're like, go. I was like tw- 19, 20, just started smoking. I'd fucking. I remember one time he's like, let's go bong for bong. I take a bong rip. He takes a bong rip. I take another bong rip. He's like, you win. And I'm just fucking <laughs> so high. I'm like, please take one so you can feel as fucked up as I am. What do you love? Yeah. Remember I mean, the time you did Spice? We did sal. Yeah, I did salvia once. Tim was supposed what to do is, it after what me. What is that though? It's a, isn't it a flower? It's, yeah, well, you can get it at a gas something? station. Not just- anymore. I think it's illegal now. Oh, thank God. Oh, was, <laughs> we were supposed to do it together, but he's like, I'll do it first. After watching YouTube videos and everyone's like, don't do it. Don't do it. And you did it. And I was 19, 20. I fucking remember the exact couch I was sitting in or the chair. I remember taking my shirt off. I wanted Tim to just put me in a bathtub because I just like, I don't know why, but was spinning. It was like seven to 15 minutes. And I came out of him like, don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Don't do it. Do but it. his ass would have done it, freaked out, and still made me do it because he was supposed <laughs> to do it after. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a good fucking friend. I said, don't fucking do that. He's like, I wasn't gonna. I'm like, you asshole. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. <laughs> that shit sucked. Yeah. I, uh, one time, I, I don't, I'm not a drinker. I don't like to drink. And I didn't know that crossfading existed at the time. Oh, uh, and not so, my thing. Uh, all my friends are at my house, and I'm blasted. And I'm having a great time. And it's the first time I had a house party. So I have a bunch of Blasted my friends. Blasted drunk or high? Blasted high. Okay. Because I'm not a drinker. Mm. And then everybody's taking shots in my kitchen. And I'm just admiring it. Because I like, I don't drink, but I like the whole like, let's celebrate. Because t- with joints, you're, you're kind of complaining about the guy next to you. Like, come on, hurry up. You're taking too long. That's usually me. Um, and they were like, yo, take a shot. And Ooh. when I was drunk, I mean, it was high, I, I took one. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like, I could take it now. And then I did another one. And then... Somebody was gonna fuck with me, and I can mention who it is. But somebody's fucking with me. He's like, "Dude, do another. You're totally good." Ooh. One, two more, bro. I'll, I just remember sitting down, and the room was like, vroom, vroom, and I'm like, "Oh no, this is terrible." So I closed my eyes, and it went faster. Ooh. And I was like, "Oh no!" And then I told Belle, I was like, "Belle, like my girlfriend, I was like, I-, I don't feel good. I don't feel good." And this is this is how I knew like, there's a moment, right? You could be dating a girl for ten years, but there's always one moment where you're like, "That's my ride or die." And I was. In my shower, butt naked. Now you think by As myself. As you should be in a you. shower. No, my whole house party walked upstairs to watch me shower and yak. And oh. she's shampooing my head. <laughs> while I'm sitting there yakking, turning over, visually seeing all of my friends oh. looking at me laughing. So the first time I ever threw a house party in my house, it's the whole house went to my bathroom and watched me yak in there and take a shower naked. It was. <laughs> oh, that's. Uh, hate spinning. I hate it too. And he gets pissed because I know my limits. I'm like, I know one more shot, one more drink, and I black out. I lose control. <laughs> Do you purposely I, go for that, or you, is that never. a goal? Oh no, never, okay. never. But he's always trying to push me to that. It's, no, I'm not. I'm put, trying to push you to have fun, bud. You do have fun, bro. I do. He's he is, dude. You go you go I'm really hard. Fun. You go real hard, dude. Yeah. Like, and I'll never forget this. He showed up to this. The first time we ever met was at an event, and you showed up proper as fuck. And I was like blown away. I was like, damn, this guy is like, he's dressed well. He's appropriate. Well, which one was it? It was the one was where it? all the influencers were there. It was like a Jake versus Ben, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it was like a hall party. It was like yeah, yeah, and so. Out like maybe thirty minutes later, uh, his sh- like shirts off. He's like DJing. Fuck yeah, he's all over the place. He's getting everybody to get fucked up. I'm like, bro, it's not even eight. It's not even eight yet. <laughs> like a week, at least wait until the sun goes down. Yeah. Like, you just went I don't hard. party often, but when I do, I party hard. That's my motto. So, okay, so let's let's step back into this. This fight that you're going into, you're 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 going into a, a different. Like you win this, you get the belt. You get the thing that you've been working for mm-hmm. the whole time. Uh, now in all these other interviews, they ask you the same question. Like, Oh my God, you didn't want to be a fighter. Now you are a fighter. You like this. You only did it for getting girls. And we know this about you. I want to know how the fuck are you still committed? Like if you already got all the girls, you're, you have a beautiful wife, you have beautiful kids, you're, you're, you're dating like models. If it's the opportunity presents itself, Mm -hmm. how are you still motivated? If you've collected everything you wanted to cash in for? Well, I haven't, I need the belt. So it's, I mean, but I thought the fighting thing wasn't really like what made you want to come into this game. No, yeah, it wasn't. Now it, now I obviously enjoy it, love it. I still feel like I got a good, realistically, f- five, six, seven years in this. 
And uh, once I'm like 35, 36, and I don't, I'm not in my prime anymore, I want to be able to know that I gave it everything. Like I've that that's what drives me is I don't want to fucking look back and wish that I would have try at least didn't live up to my full potential. Mm. So I, that, I that's what that. still drives me is like, okay, I know there's going to be a day where I can't, I'm not as fast as I fucking once was. And then that, that's kind of scary. It's like, fuck that day's going to come. But that's also what ma- drives me to continue to do and be disciplined in this sport because yeah, there's fucking, there's definitely times where you're just like, I don't want to fucking train when you're oh, in it so much. And, but then you take a couple days off and you're like, Oh, the fuck i want to train i want to train bad i love that shit so at high levels people tap out when they uh when they get like the reward of what the world already gave it to them you know what i mean when you walk around people see you as a champ uh your your money reflects that your power reflects that so people i know i notice and it, i only notice it because i notice it in me i get comfortable i get mm. complacent like i go oh, okay i've done it when you sit around the family and they're like congratulating you so much and you're like, yeah, I kind of fucking did it. So I was, I was just genuinely confused. I was like, why was, how is this guy operating at such a high level? I don't, I don't see myself as that person. Like if I'm at a club and fuck, got some chains on, the music, like I kind of feel like sugar, but I don't really walk around like I'm that person. Have you looked in the mirror, bro? I look ugly as fuck. No, bro. Look at you guys. You have your whole look to you. You have your own image. I, I, I can't separate sugar from you. Is there a different, like when you go home to Danny, is there a different side of you that she only oh, sees? Oh, yeah. Like, dude, I'm, I feel like I'm just a regular dad, basically. And I just bought a fucking, a farm, pretty much. Uh, out, like, even further from where we were. Um, you want to plant your own vegetables and stuff? Yeah, Danny's going to have a fucking sweet garden. I got six chickens. That's the dream. That is the dream. It's like grow yeah. your own food. Now you're. I got six chickens, a fucking turtle. Want to get a couple of goats. I just want to be a farmer, dude. But honestly, being just less distract, being around like Scottsdale or even traveling, just I like being home. Keeps me disciplined. I like being in a routine. I like being in my disciplined routine um, because I feel like that's where I'm most happy mentally. If I'm traveling or out doing this, doing that, even partying, like you get that anxiety a little bit the next day. You're hungover, a little depressed. So I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, the, the less distracted I can be just in general, is the more happy I am. And now at this level, the fights are just going to be get tougher oh, yeah. and tougher yeah. and tougher. And the goals change. Like first the goal is get in the UFC, make some money. Now that's there. Now the goals change to be the UFC champ. After that, it's going to be try to be the greatest of all time. And to even stay at the elite level, like in that top five for years and years, you have to stick to the grind. Like you have to. Are you trying to leave no more uh, questions after this fight? Like your last fight, people were questioning it. Did that piss you off? Not really. It was a close fight. I've rewatched it multiple times. It was a very, very close fight. But I, I just, I really don't feel like I care too much what people think. And I mean, like I like when people think I'm going to lose, like, makes me want to fucking win more or whatever but at the end of the day i really don't give a fuck what people think so you use it when you need it and then you put it away when you want it yeah do you read comments online and and like uh not really no but even even like the negative ones don't really like i've read negative ones on like if we have a podcast i read them and they're like what the fuck sean sounds so stupid i'm like i fucking definitely probably sounded stupid (laughs) i usually agree i'm like yeah i say some really dumb shit um a lot so you they're how, usually right. How have you learned to handle that, like with negative comments and stuff? Did you stop reading them? Uh, I tried to do that. I, I took my phone away for a bit. Um, what I try, I, see, ours might be a little different because I'm, I am sensitive. People are like, "You're fucking sensitive." I'm like, "Bitch, I know this." this is I like cry when I watch Ellen. Ellen. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sensitive too. Uh, <laughs> Ellen, I every time I watched Ellen, I just knew shit wasn't real, so I couldn't get into it. Yeah, but a good fucking seven minute YouTube clip where she gives some shit away, I was like. All I keep thinking is the realistic, like, they can't pay the taxes on that. They're going to give it back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know it. You got eight Bugattis. You just have to pay the taxes. And they're yeah. like, what the fuck? You can't afford it. <laughs> I can't Insurance. do that. Yeah. Um, no, I, I put my phone away for a bit. And this has helped me beyond belief because I realized, the, like, in the beginning of the morning, I, I'm, a, I'm a pattern type of human, right? So I, I have patterns. It keeps my mind, like, organized. So when I realize that I'm reflecting on other people's life, I'm, I'm not reflecting on mine enough. So I'm taking in too much of their shit and not enough of what I need to learn or get out of things. Um, and so I, I believe that your phone could be a tool, but if you use it the wrong way, it could be a weapon to yourself. So I try to like, I think the thing that hurts me is I, I've built myself up to be a man that my mom and dad are proud of, you know, like the man that I want to be. 
and watching somebody uh, portray me as something I'm not or, uh, uh, or make up a situation or, or try to edit something into making me look like something I'm not, it, it fucks with my mind because that's all I care about is making sure I'm a good person to my neighbors and my friends. So I guess that's the only thing that fucks me up, but I'm not in a, 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 a level where I'm competing with people. People are, to me, it doesn't make sense. Like if I was you and I was listening to people give me advice on fighting, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Like, like get out of my face. You know what I mean? Like I'm here for a reason. You're not. You yep. get what I'm saying? Oh yeah. The phones are so fucking bad. <clears throat> just so addicting. I definitely feel like my level of anxiety, if you just look at it at the end of the day, correlates to how much I was on my phone, how much YouTube I watched, how much I was fucking surfing compared to being outside, being with Elena, doing that. That's definitely just being on your phone in general gives you anxiety, whether you're looking at comments or fucking tits on TikTok. Yeah. Oh, and here's another thing. I don't know if you guys have this, but when I put my phone away for a bit, I have FOMO. I'm like, oh, I'm missing out on something. Like something <laughs> fucking huge is happening. Uh, it wasn't. Literally, I, my recap when I got my phone, I recapped seven days of what I missed in one hour, and there was nothing fucking there that yeah. I was like, oh shit, I should have fucking known about this. Um, so no, I, I, I'm, I'm getting better at. Uh, monitoring my happiness and you're right i think it is the phone that gives anxiety and, oh, and depression yeah. to people and i think um a lot of people are i don't know about you guys if you have friends like this but everybody's in the conspiracy shits now like everybody's fucking freaking out about some shit like the ais or like uh, <laughs> the phones they're always like oh we're about to die and i'm like dude this has been this has been what we've been hearing since like day one uh so i, I don't know man i just i think i get i think i could get in a better headspace when i'm controlling my mindset and I and, and people's uh, opinions of me is none of my business. This is like the the motion that I've been moving on. It's been making me a lot happier. Oh hell yeah! Well, it's nice to putting that phone down too, and then smoking a little bit of your weed. I swear the weed is like a hack to just bring yourself in the moment, enjoy just simple things. It really is, and I think that's why I'm addicted to it. Is because like I'll get scattered, and I have really bad ADHD. So like if shit is like hitting the fan, then my brain is just like it won't. So when I'm laying down in bed. People could just go to bed and I can't, I'm sitting there being like, I have to get all of this done. And I'm like, and then like, I, I can't breathe. And then I'm, I, I realize I'm like, oh fuck. And then I'll smoke. I'm like, yeah, this shit doesn't matter. I'll figure this out later. And I'll just go to bed immediately. <clears throat> Smoking before bed. Like I have some of the, my sleep is fucking so dialed and so good, but I don't, I'm never high when I go to bed and I always sleep way fucking better. Um, the, the closer you smoke to bed, the less REMs, the, the less actual deep and REM sleep you get. Um, what do you I mean by that? So like what, if you're training during I mean, the day yeah, and so you're smoking like before dinner, sometimes I'll hit a bag. Like if I train once in the morning and I don't have anything in the afternoon, I'll hit a, I'll hit a, I'll hit my bag or I'll smoke. And, but usually it's, it's, I train twice. I'll smoke what? Six o'clock, six thirty. go to bed around nine thirty ten. 10. So I'm not even really high when I go to bed. Um, I was watching in uh, a podcast with you, Andrew Schultz, and you said, forever and when you said the word forever you said it in a way where um to me and this is just my point of view i just wanted to see if this is right it's are you do you get anxiety of the future are you like not really do you like to plan your future though or do you like to take it day by day uh definitely more day by day i, I do plan i mean it's funny thinking back when danny and i were in the apartments like i wanted a house i wanted cold plunge hot i, I plan in that sense to where I, I kind of manifest it but I'm really not too – I just do the work that I can do each day. Obviously, I want to be world champ. If I go and lose that fight, my life's still fucking sweet. Like, I'm no not I'm not, I'm not going to be – and it's hard. I don't know. I fucking could – that's how I, th I think I'll feel. I think I'll be fine. I'm not really too worried about, like, fuck, if I lose, like, I'm going to look stupid. I'm going to – I don't really – don't really get anxiety over that. What's up, guys? I wanted to jump on real quick and show you guys what my Patreon really looks like. I'm high as shit with my dad talking about Sean O'Malley. Here's a little preview of that episode. I'm not gonna lie, I find Tim so attractive. Hey, man, That's Jessica, big. he came here with his wife or his girlfriend. Okay, did I jump him? Like, wow, I should be talking about this in front of my father. Oh, it's Jesse, just better that Jesse, way. about their food, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Jessica, he's oh. been taking shots Look at, at us, bro. Just just what the oh, fuck, dude? Oh, dude, 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 dude. What are you doing? I'm fixing it. <laughs> Dad, this is your fucking first episode. You're already a diva, bro? I love you. I love you, Thank too. Thank you for always supporting me. <laughs> uh, dude, I've been roasted on a podcast before, so but Korea. nothing cut deep as that. You know yeah, what? I'd be, she, I'd be, she pulled, pulled me in the side. Dad, don't say this. 
Don't say this. Thing. Yeah, because dude, you just you like. Here's the thing. You sound fucking, <laughs> and you're not. And oh, you why, just, why are you talking like that? <laughs> See? See? No, because I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example why I can't let this guy talk. I might have to cut this. Whoa. No, no, no. Is, is, it, the, is, it, the, is it the... Yeah. Don't. No, Listen. It's done. No, so no, my, no, 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 no. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had to humanize you in front of your audience and like really have them see eye to eye on one level, what is it that you're wrestling with? Like if it's emotional or like spiritual, like what is something you guys deal with that you're like not really opening about? But like, you're like, this is, I could talk about this because I deal with this because I realized the more I express the things that I don't want to talk about, the easier I could wrap it up and figure it out. Is there anything on your guys' heart you're wrestling it, with? When I'm in camp, like I am right now, I feel like uh, I'm just doing everything that I need, that I know that I need to be doing. And uh, I don't have any, like life's fucking so good. The, the one thing I think is the best is obviously Elena. She's two and a half, like. I'm with her so much. I love that. Like if I, that would fuck me up if I didn't think I was being a good dad or being with Elena enough, that would fuck me up. But I feel like I'm doing everything right that I need to be doing. I feel like I'm really good to Danny. I'm a, re a really good dad. I genuinely believe that. I know that. So I, I feel like life's just really good. Danny, is he, is he nice? I fucking elbowed her this morning though. Hey man, that's not nice. <laughs> She was crawling up my back. I was getting out of bed. No, it was an accident, but I did give her a nice little elbow. <laughs> it's her birthday. <laughs> and I elbowed her. Birthday. That was bad timing. <laughs> that, well, happy birthday. And I'm sorry about the elbow. <laughs> Have you guys watched uh, White Man Can't Jump? I feel like it's that old. Ja Jack Harlow just remade it. Oh. On, was it Hulu? Yep, Hulu. Did you watch it? Just started it. Just started it. Didn't finish it yet. That's not a great time. <laughs> Did you get bored and turned it off? I, I was doing take. other shit. I was fucking. It's hard for him to finish anything. Yeah, unless Fucker I take can a real smoke, sentence. put my phone in the kitchen, don't think about anything else, then I can sit down and watch a show. But if I'm on my phone, I fucking lose control. Easy. But 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 back to that one thing real quick. It, talking about him not having anxiety about the future. It's pretty rare that fighters don't have. That. That's why I wanted to ask, and it, it doesn't seem like you are. So what what is? It? Do you help him with that, or you just does? He doesn't give a fuck. You just move on. What about I, you? I, it's a super. When I was fighting, I was so stressed about the future because I'm like, I don't. This next fight means so much, money wise. You only make half the money if you lose. Yeah. And then your status keeps going up, and then you almost get to the UFC. For me, I couldn't shut it off. I'd always be thinking about it. It would almost stress me out so much. I couldn't imagine it w not to stress you out before you're fine. I couldn't imagine, because if I was in your position, I keep thinking like, fuck, dude. Like, your guy, you guys are in a career where if you're having a bad day, it jeopardizes your year, or like your next year, or mm -hmm. like where you're performing for the future. So every fight is like a fresh, fresh slate. I, that would fuck my mental up every single time. So it's cool that you... Uh... I told you the other day, I said, I feel like what I can do better than most people, most fighters, is I can think about the fight when I want to, and I can I don't think about it when I don't want to. If I don't want to think about the fight, like I don't, I don't really have those uncontrollable thoughts to where I'm like, fuck, what if he takes me down? What if he gets my back? Like I don't really have those thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I also think that comes from the preparation. I'm doing everything I fucking can do to win this fight, so I'm not really... I, I, if I wasn't training as hard as I am or doing everything right, eating right, doing everything, then maybe I'd be like, fuck. But I feel like I'm just doing everything right and everything necessary to, to put myself in the best position to win that I don't really have those thoughts. It's conf That's like true confidence. Like you're really just concerned yeah. with what and you we, do. I mean, we learned med how to meditate. It's not like I'm a fucking guru and sit around and fucking do it for 10 hours a day. But literally 10 minutes in the morning, like I've been very, very consistent and like religious with that that I feel like it's changed my life completely. And uh, to do, just do my 10 minutes in the morning, journal, do all that stuff. I mean, Atlanta, go take the chicken, like take food to the chickens, go check on the turtle. Like that's a form of meditation. I don't even take, touch my phone in the morning for a long time. Um, You're good with being in the present. I'm, I'm decent, I've gotten better. I could definitely get a lot fucking better at it. But uh, I think anxiety comes from these fucking phones and being on them all day. I do believe that. The the reason I brought up the uh, the White Man Can't Jump movie is because I was shocked on Jack Harlow's performance. Great. I loved it. I yeah. think he stole the, the movie. I, I even messaged him. I said, dude, you did a great job. Um, I immediately thought about you when I was watching your highlights to your fights last night, and I was just trying to cover the grounds, see if things I could bring up. 
And the one thing I notice is while you're fighting, dude, it's when I'm watching another fighter, I'm watching two things go on in his head. What he wants to do next and then what he's trying to prepare by blocking and like it's like chess, right? You're trying to make sure you know his move before. But when I'm watching you fight, I feel like you're entertaining, bro. You're not really like like you said, you're not worried about him putting on your back and I could see it from a visual point. Like there's a famous clip that goes around where a guy did a spin kick and he like it, it was pointless and then you <laughs> you did Pedro. But that's yeah. to think of like that on stage when it's not a fight, it's comedic and that takes talent. That's why I wanted to bring that up because have you ever dabbled in acting? Have you ever wanted to go into that field? Um, <clears throat> I did just get offered something pretty fucking sweet. I don't really know if I could talk about it, but it's so it's right after my fight. And dude, Aljamain Sterling is the greatest bantamweight of all time. Like, I'm we're not overlooking this dude. He's beat Henry Cejudo, double champ, beat TJ Dillashaw, who I thought was one of the best. Beat Corey Sandhagen in fucking like six seconds, who I think is one of the best right now. Um, beat Peter Yawn. Like, Alger's a motherfucker. Um, so I'm not overlooking that. But yeah, I would love to do some acting. I fucking have such a choke. They're like, all right, read, fucking memorize this 13 sentences. And I'm like, holy fuck. I'm trying to memorize a dance. Oh, impossible. Oh, yeah, I can't do shit. I can't but memorize shit. If that is your only problem, bro, that's it's cake. Because there's some movies, bro, where they don't even want you to be scripted. They'll be like, hey, this is what... Uh, the scene's gonna be about you go out and just be you yeah, and have that's, fun. That's what this was more so to where I could handle that. But as far as entertain being entertaining and fighting, I never I never thought like, okay, this is what people wanna see. And <clears throat> that's always been my style, it's just that fucking weird kinda yeah, he's good at, I mean, even watching film and stuff, I, I point out stuff. I'm like, look at, like, you even fainted before there and you moved before there. He's like, I didn't even realize it did that. Just literally <laughs> being in the moment, natural, just letting him, his body take over and his training take over and just being athletic and having fun. That's what people, like, people go into a fight and they prepare for a normal orthodox striker or a normal southpaw, and he's doing stuff just that you can't even prepare for. Uh, it's definitely... Devin Special. Haney had to run into that in his last boxing fight. He said that all the tr well, I was talking to his buddy Wayne, and he said all of his training went out the window, and he had to like dance on his feet. Um, are you ever going to go back into this boxing world? Because you're fucking quick with your hands, bro. I would love to box. I think I would be. I mean, I would love a mega fight someday. I've obviously said Javante, Ryan Garcia, um, but the whole. I mean, even Dan, Devin Haney, Lom Lomachenko, like, well, they're all similar weights. We're all. I can get down to 135. Would you lower. go up against those type of titles oh, right, yeah, right away? I don't. I'm not saying I'd go out there and piece them, or you know, do I believe I could catch anybody? I do think I have the speed and the crack to knock out guys my size. I would love to compete and challenge myself in that way too. And for anyone to be like, "Why would you do that? You fucking why wouldn't I? That would be so much fun for me to go through a boxing camp, something different." Like that would be fucking fun. For is me. um is the money better for boxing? Is that why everybody talks about boxing? At the very 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 tippy top, the small percentage of people, uh, the boxing's fucking pretty crazy. Um, but I don't feel like I could go to boxing right now and make more than I'm making in the UFC. Got it. But everyone's contracts are so different. It's hard to say. Um and your how long is your contract with the UFC? I just renego. I just resigned with them, but. I've never fought out a full contract, so you sign six fights. <clears throat> you know, you do two fights, a couple KOs. You can renegotiate. Usually, technically, you don't have to. Contractually, you don't. Ha you can't. But I have a really good relationship with the UFC, um, so I've always been able to renegotiate my contracts before the contract ends. So I think this last one was like seven or eight, but I plan on <clears throat> going out there, finishing Aljo, fighting again, fight two fights, renegotiating again. So, I mean, if you're bringing in the UFC money. If you're bringing them, you're, you're, make, you're getting them paid. They don't mind paying people. They're just trying not to pay. They don't want to pay people. You, you eat what or uh, what is it? You eat what you kill in this sport. Like you, if you're fucking, if you're doing good, bringing them money, they'll pay you. If you have a good relationship. I don't have a. I don't have a problem with that, and I don't know why some people do have a problem <clears> with that. I think it just makes fucking sense, bro. If you're not making money, why you're not the making fuck the are we paying money? you more? It's hard. Yeah, and it it sucks because it's such a brutal fucking sport, and it is a lifestyle yeah but no one put do. a gun to your head and say join exactly. it exactly yeah and i mean people they just compare it to other and they want to be mainstream like nfl mlb and then a brand new guy who's worked his whole life to get in the ufc is making twenty four thousand dollars if they win and then they give 30 percent of that away right off the rip to mm. managers and gyms so you're going home with twelve thirteen thousand dollars like i don't know the payout for athletes and i definitely want them to be happy i mean bro if you're going and risking your life you definitely want to walk out being happy uh, making sure your team's happy. 
I'm just talking about the superstar. I'm like, why is so and so getting way more than me? I was like, well, so and so just slapped so and so in a press conference, and now 80 million people are talking about him. Yeah. You don't even want to call somebody out. It's a big difference. Big. Big. Um, and you do that, and you do it in a natural way. A lot of people are try hard. I, I've been getting into the sport because I want to learn from the beginning, so that way when I'm having these conversations, I know what's going on. And watching how it kind of turned after Connor, it's really cringy watching them like some people try yeah. so hard mm -hmm. that it's it's starting to look like WWE a little bit with the the talking of the shit some of them accidentally even give it like an irish accent when i, I don't know I like, i've done that have you <clears throat> probably not on camera but i definitely accidentally comes out sometimes we're gonna find it in clip house it. <laughs> immediately play it over again <laughs> connor, connor changed the fucking sport though i haven't watched it. i'm waiting to watch that documentary they dropped They're waiting for it to be about six seven maybe five weeks out from the fight because i'm sure it's gonna be fucking sweet but yeah connor changed the sport before that i mean even Chael, Chael Sonnen really changed it too. And uh, he, I remember Chael would make fun of Henry Cejudo because at first Henry Cejudo would come out and be like just this Mr. Olympian, be all respectful. But Chael, Chael's like, you're fucking boring. Don't act that way. No one wants to see it. So he started acting like cringy like he does too. I think Chael helped with Colby Covington too, going off the – going off. Colby, that saved Colby's guy. career, the, what he did. He was about to get cut and he fucking flipped a switch and just now a fucking character that people – probably don't like but you know that would be tough because then you have to go and train with a bunch of guys but everyone that says they meet colby said he's so fucking nice but you turns that character on when the cameras are on and still in the ufc doing you know main events i think he's fighting for a title <clears throat> so speaking of talking shit are you are you gonna still be cool with uh your opponent's mom and fiance or are you just gonna Throw it out the window. <clears throat> no, yeah. Uh, yeah, his mom was so nervous. And I know my, fucking my mom gets so nervous for fights. So, yeah, I was trying to comfort her a little bit. That's really sweet. I would have got in her head. I'd be like, he's okay here. But the next one. Man, I said I do have to beat him up, up though. <laughs> really? Plus your ass is looking fat. Though. No, and his, yeah, his girl was super pretty. I was like, damn, I'll just, he's got it going on. He got, he, he's I find it. Right. I find it so fascinating. Like watching two men being like, I'm a fucking murder. I'm going to unbury your dad. <laughs> fuck him. Put him back in his grave. And then after the fight, That's you're like, line. hey, man. Try that hey, man. Just wanted to let you know it's all love. After, after you fight someone, though, it is there is a certain level of respect you have. Like, I, I don't – I'm trying to think of – well, Dustin versus Connor. That kind of never – I think after he broke his foot, that one was ended weird. But for the most part, you're it's a certain level of respect you guys have for each other, especially if it's a fucking tough fight, close fight, decision. I mean, even if you knock someone out, it's like, sorry, bud. Du Dustin's not really I mean I haven't visualized it but like he's not really much of a shit talker like like he doesn't play that character too much does he no or? not really so how is he up there fighting the greats is it because of his, his well I think Connor Connor had knocked him out early in the career and uh Connor you know thought it would be another good fight it was a big fight Dustin fought for the belt I think Connor thought he's gonna go out there and beat him again um because Connor takes smart fights mm. but then uh, Dustin beat Connor, finished him in their second fight. Connor wants the trilogy. Dustin finishes him again. So then he kind of became the star from beating Connor twice. But just With, Dustin's his resume is he, fucked. He, Eddie Alvarez, Anthony Pettis, Justin Gaethje, Eddie Alvarez again, Max Holloway, Habib, Dan Hooker, Connor, Connor, Charles, Michael Chandler. It's like, God. And he's fighting Justin <laughs> Gaethje right, uh, again. Fucking crazy. Yeah, Who would you be uh, more nervous to fight, Connor or Dustin? <laughs> They're both big boys. Um, I'd say Dustin, Pry. I wouldn't want to fight either of them, to be honest. Speaking but. of big boy, jo uh, Joe, could you stand up real quick? That's a big boy right there. Oh, yeah, that's a big fella. Would you be able to <laughs> fuck that dude up? Yeah. Unless he knows, unless he's like, oh, I'm a fucking brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Like, well, it might be very difficult. So, But if he doesn't know any... any I asked his opinion on it. I just want to match yours. So you're saying you'd fuck him up? <laughs> yeah. He also agreed with you. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I go, Joe, I'm like, you're a big dude. Just tackle, just, just, just fall on him. <laughs> and then just gorilla hit him or just grab a house and hit it over him. And yeah. That one might hurt. Like might hurt. Devin Haney versus uh, Bradley. Oh, Martin. God. Did you see that going around? Yeah. He asked him, but like, dude, I, I like, listen, both are my boys. Yeah. Love them both. But it's not like, dude, I don't know, man. That's I big. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, <laughs> I, like I, I could, I'm confident, bro. But I look at Joe, confidence goes away. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm just like, that's a wall. That's a yeah. big dude. 
he could he could just not even really try and hurt me really bad. But he said that you would smoke him because you're like really fast. Yeah. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, yeah. if I brought him to the gym, would you fuck him up? I'll ask him to hold on, Joe. Would you let him fuck him up? Um, I'm I'm very yeah. careful with who I uh, train. I wouldn't risk anything f for no reason. After the fight, I train with yeah, maybe after the fight. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> Try to train That's smart. So exciting, dude. longevity. Because if you be. do fuck him up, if he acts up at the house, I'll be like, yo, I'm. You want me to call? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I, I like. I don't even like hurting. People like fighting is different, obviously, but I don't want to. I don't like hurting people. Yeah, why don't you tell him that? He likes <laughs> to fuck people up. No, uh, dude. You Do you that realize is so how? Cap. No, fuck you. You Nick. gave me this, and you're like, come back, and then you fucked me up, and then well, did I come back? <laughs> no, you got tired. I didn't get tired. You suffocated me. <laughs> that's fair. That's not being tired. That's that's <laughs> taking advantage of me. Yeah, he did. I don't feel comfortable here. What about the what about the one guy, the bully, uh, or the internet guy that came in? Oh, you, you fucked him up. Yeah, well, our neighbor who, who tried to fight funny, us back though. in the day, he kicked him and made him poop himself in the ring. And he actually pooped in the ring and spread it around. Yeah, I did fucking body kick him. He thought he could fuck me up a little bit. He's just like, he was kind of short but jacked. And uh, what was this, seven years ago, eight years ago? And Tim's like, let's go, let's go to the gym. It wasn't like a fuck you type thing. He's like, you guys fight and get paid? I could do that. He's like, I can see you fight. And he looked at Sean. He's like, he's a professional? Damn. <laughs> Let me try this. Uh, and then shit happened. I, I don't <laughs> shit happened. I don't know if I was I pro at the time or was I, I might have been still like an amateur. Hey man, you kick somebody and shit comes out of them. That's professional, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what you say, dude. I don't but, care but if you internet, have any belts. The internet guy, remember at the at your old gym, yeah, the guy that, that messaged that us. How many people that have you fucked funny. up on the street? <laughs> no, that wasn't mean. That was funny though. This dude was messaging Tim, talking shit online. Tim said, "You can come in, the older guy, and just the picture of <laughs> you holding that motherfucker." <laughs> Did you stop? Uh, did you do this, Tim? No, but then after he's like, "I'm suing you. What you? You're gonna see a lawsuit soon. My trachea is sore. My trachea is sore. Yeah. <laughs> this, by funny. the way, there's nothing more humbling to a man when somebody kindly asks you to remove your shoes, and then he fucks you up. <laughs> yeah, like his <laughs> dude. Like I was very. And you know what? I didn't like that you asked my camera guy to start rolling. That fucked me up a little bit. Uh, hey, record this. Hey, yeah. yeah, get this on camera. And, then, and by the way, if you noticed, didn't come out. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I made the official cut on that. We watched it back, and I said, not happening. Didn't look good. Way stronger and explosive than I expected, though. Bro, I went good. easy on you, dog. <laughs> I went easy on you. I didn't want. You know why? Because like I'm genuinely scared of going tiny bit hard. Because if I would have little gone hard, then you would have gone like. You ever watch Dragon Ball Z no. when the guy's like, "You thought this was my final form," and then he fucking doo -doo -doo, and then like I didn't want that to happen. I already knew where you could go with it, so I was just like letting you throw me around. Felt nice. Felt nice. Yeah. Honestly, it's it. it I would like to ask your guys' opinion about this. You know. The generation we're living in, it's a tad bit uncomfortable. I feel like there's a lot of rules and like weird things that are happening. Um, and I have a conclusion to this. I think it's because people stopped getting punched in the face. What are your thoughts? Um, like I don't, for parenting kind of wise or just what do you mean? A little bit of both. I'll break it down. Um, when I was a kid growing up with my dad, that's my dad right there. The guy who looks like he's in the Middle Eastern Mafia. Uh, <laughs> If I, if I raised my tone with him, he'd kill me. Yeah, so uh, he'd beat the fuck out of me. And then through this, I learned, no, no, no. Fear is good to learn to not to do things. Mm. And then I read the gospel. And they say the first thing to wisdom is what? Fear the Lord. I fear the Lord. Terrified of him. When you stop fearing things because there's no consequence, you're kind of an asshole. And you could kind of go wherever you want with it. I see people talk in the street in these videos and... Is it fucked up of me that when they get fucking smoked, I'm like, oh, I'm sure with all my friends. And I'm just like, yes. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not that type of dude. I can't because then, you know, not, I don't want to get my ass kicked. Mm. I think a lot of people on YouTube right now, because they're watching the YouTube thing, that they're like, oh, I'll fucking hire me a trainer six months. I'm lethal. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. People always ask me, why don't you do the YouTube box? I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm not going to spend a year of my life spending all of my money on a nutritionist, a trainer, and then get fucking memed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would... Do you know what I mean? Pay all that money for my career to go away? Or you're a pro boxer and you fucking become one of the best ever. I'm going to stick in my lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on your guys' agenda when you guys are not fighting? What's going on? It's a li It's literally the lifestyle. There's nothing really going on. Uh, obviously, I have, like I said, Elena, Elena train. 
Um, I don't. I used to game like pretty much every day. I haven't gamed in probably three months. Call of Duty or like yeah, Fortnite? Yeah, play Call of Duty all the time. So I don't. I don't really do shit. Train, play fucking cornhole like a motherfucker. Dude, yeah. I'm nasty at that I'm game. Decent. Been pre- playing a lot. I'll fuck both of you guys up in that. It's fun. That and basketball, I could probably take you guys. I don't know about basketball. You're good at basketball? Yeah. No, I'll smoke. I'm it. good at every sport. I guarantee you there's no shot of would, me taking would you Would you bet your eyebrows? I would bet everything on it. Your you can eyebrows. ball like that? I would, I would bet anything on it. How about this? Imagine if those brows go, though. It'll grow back next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll yeah. bet that right now. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you go to this one, it's like, <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Actually, you know what's so funny? That would help me because every two weeks I do get them cut down. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, there you go. Oh, it's fucked up. It's Why do you like, think you can ball so good? When was the last time you balled? Uh, dude, it's it's just I'm really good at it. I've always been naturally really good Shooting, at it. Shooting, dribbling, everything, defense. Everything. Everything. Huh. I have a... I would literally, and I have this on video. I'll show it to you after. Actually, no, don't watch it. Uh, but I would go and like anybody who played for like a college game or like anything, I would smoke them like a little blunt. Mm. Yeah, I'll talk shit in basketball because like that, unless it's LA Fitness, because then that turns to MMA. Yeah, the LA Fitness people, like I have to kindly remind them, <laughs> no one's getting paid here, no one, and yet they <laughs> fucking get so mad. My tongue split from here to the back of my tongue because some dude was having a ball and I was in the paint, way bigger than me. He thought it would be cool to just go right into my mouth. <laughs> just Danny this morning. Happy birthday. Then your, um, your tongue was like a lizard or what? Oh, bro, it split open. I could, I could not eat properly for three weeks oh, to geez. like drink. I had to put the straw in the back of my mouth. Oh, It was fucking terrible. But wait, how have you never split your tongue open? I don't. I try not to get hit. <laughs> That's my main thing. I don't do want to get hit. I would love the next time I'm here to, to do like a one-on-one bath. Unless you want to help get somebody else that's like good. In no, I, could, I mean, I could. I, I, yeah, let's do it. After the fight, for sure. Got oh, weak ankles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. I don't want to fuck your ankles up. Uh, you won't see that, Danny. So I'll be like, w- "Oh, happy birthday!" And then he's like, "Oh, what happened?" I haven't this? played basketball in so fucking long. It but wouldn't I'm pretty help. confident I could fuck you up. No, nah, not even a little bit. Will I- you bet your brows, and he can just bet some money or something? <laughs> First of all, why are you coming at me like I don't have money to put up and just no, brows? no. He likes bra- he loves the brow bet. It's why do you do the brows? Because we can't see your brows. You want us to look like you a little bit? Oh God, <laughs> don't talk about his forehead. Why? <laughs> hey, Mona Lisa, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, I could talk shit now because we're on camera. I'll show the cops, bitch. Try to do something. Read always roll. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, let's place like a friendly bet. What do you got? Uh, friendly bet? I mean, if it's just a friendly bet, then we just play. One or don't be one. boring, bro. I know. Uh, <laughs> we're playing full court, by the way. Full co- One on one? I'm going to gas your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who does full court? What on? If you want to if, if start putting in some extra rules, you can do that. But they can see this, you know what I mean? I'm, yeah, looking, she's I'm she's pointing at the camera. If you want to you wanna do certain... No, 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 oh, half court. Wow, you got some fucking honey bunnies out yeah, there. Yeah, all of the uh, Scottsdale, like b- like the bottle wow. girls, they live here. Really? Oh, damn. Yeah. That's funny. We just got an apartment right on the road. You guys can have my place whenever you want. Thank you. Just clean my sheets. But uh, what do you what do you uh say you want to play? You want to add r- certain rules? Yeah, let's do it right off the bat. Okay, uh, win by two, 100%, up okay. to 15. Are we doing the let's best two out of three? We can, it doesn't matter. So like best two out of three. You're you, going to gas out. I, dude, dude. I, did I gas out with you when you were suffocating me? Yes. Jessica? <laughs> yes. I have Don't a, talk about gassing out, bitch. You go up the <laughs> stairs and you're gassed out. Elevator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, like to, I play a high pace. High pace. Well, okay, Very we, high pace. Half court, bro. We're not doing we can no do half court. court. Thank you. Do you. Have you actually ever played one-on-one with a full court? There's no way. No, probably not. Okay, yeah. It was but I just wanted to make it seem like you're kind of like, well, let's, I mean, let's change the rules a little bit. You want to play on an eight-foot hoop, too? Are you, well, you think you're going to dunk on me, bro? <laughs> uh, if it's eight feet, I could. No, no, no. Regular rim. You want indoor or outdoor? Indoor. No, uh, yeah, indoor. Good, good. Less yeah. people to see you lose. Mm. I'll yeah. be impressive. I'll be impressive. Oh, bro, it's, you have out. no idea. It's smoked. Like, if you get up to five points, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be like, <laughs> wow. Like, I I'm can't actually, tell if you're serious or not. Bro, smoke. <laughs> smoke. Are you going to wear them sandals, too? <laughs> bro, I could if you want. We could put that in the closet. All right. Bro. <laughs> Fucking. Um, okay, so best. Uh, you want to use a women's ball? Best two out of three. First of all. Well, <laughs> you know. Actually, I would like that because they do fit my hands a little bit better. Yeah. All joking aside, they do. That's but I will, I I'll beat you with a man's ball. Um, up to 15, best two out of three. Let's do 21. Okay, fine. 20, that's okay, 21. Fine. Should be easy for you. I just want you to get to at least 10 once. 
Uh, okay, so 21. <laughs> win by two. Okay, now we, now let's talk about the stakes. What do we do? Oh, oh, by the way, three point is two points. Okay. So ones and twos. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, I got it. I got it. If I beat you, and I'm talking smoked you, bro. Okay. Like, I'm, like I mean smoked you. Like, you, like I got 21, 21 and you got six. Six. Okay. When you win your next fight, you're going to be like, guys, I know you think this is not <laughs> important right now, but George Janko is the greatest basketball player to ever exist. Who have you played that I would know that you beat? That I'll be like, oh, okay, that's pretty impressive. Literally no one. Okay. <laughs> 2K. Literally yeah, not, 2K. Not even, I've never played 2K. I don't even... No, I did, no one. Literally no one. Okay. Why are you so confident? I just feel confident. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I feel... I played high Wait, school. Wait, let me ask my family, guys. Do you guys think... Like, how good am I at basketball, realistically? Very good. Very Pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I played in high school a little bit. Um, definitely played growing up, up until high school, until I started knocking people out, switched. Basketball was too easy. Oh, oh, another clause. Can't fight me. No, court. no fighting. Thank you. But elbows in the, in the paint, just, you know. Nope, nope. Save yeah. that for your wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll save that. Are you saving it for another pot, or have you talked about the impulse of it all and just being done with it? No, I, I just never. It's it's weird, man, because, like, I'll, I was making jokes about it. Like, uh, I, was, I was talking about, like, um how I was treated, like when it comes to like what I joked about on the show. Um, and then we had a disagreement and I walked away and how I was raised is like, if you really have a disagreement, um, I fuck around with my life. So I joke about shit, but I don't make shit real. And he took it to a level where it was like real. Uh, and it's hard, bro. It, it's, I, I'm at a point right now where I, I want distance from both of them. I don't want anything to do with it. And I just move on, uh, because there's some shit that like, obviously we're not going to speak about. Uh, but what's, what fucks me up, bro, is the love is still there for me. Like, I got past the anger already. So, like, when I look at them, I do remember the great times. And I also, like, can't put away that this dude did a lot for me. Mm -hmm. But I think at any time in a points, like, in a, in a man's life, he has to kind of stand up and draw a line and be like, guys, you got to stop, like, crossing these boundaries with me. Like, this is a little too much. Uh, and so I'm just working on that. I'm working on just getting the respect that I need. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the reason I didn't want to take it to the internet, I, I took it to the internet when I said, um, oh, now I'm going to fucking speak. But to be honest, I just did that to piss him off because like you kept calling me and I was like, all right, fuck it. Then I'm going to speak. <laughs> and I tweeted it out. I, I did it knowing. Were you stoned? I, no, I was. Oh, I was just really fucking, fucking mad. I said fucking funny shit. Well, no, because I knew it would fucking rattle him and you'd get fucking pissed. And I did rattle him. Is it mostly Logan doing the religious talk stuff or something No, different? it's it, it's a bunch of things that like happened, man. There was like, there was some stuff that happened behind camera uh, and uh, Mike tried to kiss you or something. <laughs> fucking, I wish. Oh. Uh, it was just some shit, bro. And it, it, like, it, it's hard because like, it's not fair for me to talk about it, and then I can't even express myself because everybody has their own point of view, right? So I could come and sit and sit here and babble, but it's not going to get anything done. Yeah, it's just going to get them upset with me. And it like, low key, like I have conversations with my dad. I go, yo, what I'm standing up for, I know I'm right, but also the integrity in my heart is like, bro, like regardless of how I feel, regardless of my point of view, regardless of anything about it, they put me onto a different level. And without them, I would not be where I'm at. So how can I get mad at people that put food on my table that gave me opportunity? I, I think I got to a place in my life where I'm, I'm able to stand up and be a man. I'm not going to disrespect you. I might take shots if we're joking around, but like we all know that shot wasn't a fucking joke that like they try to like hit home with me. And uh, I don't know, man, like I guess obviously they're going to be listening or, or the audience is going to listen. Uh, I think it's, if somebody really loves me and they want to respect me, uh, it's all fun to joke, but show them respect. If I'm showing them respect, show them respect. Well, it, you said it was an off camera thing that you, they yeah, said we just had disagreements about, uh, like, more than one thing. It wasn't like a one thing they said that really fucking, it was like multiple different, things. multiple, multiple things. Yeah. At least you don't have to travel now so much, right? You fucking still travel a lot. Huh? No, we still travel a lot. Yeah. Actually, I travel more now because I'm doing this. Um, I don't know, man. It's just, it, it, at the end of the day, bro, I think when you work with your friends or you work with anybody, you just have beef. And, like, I just think it's unfair for me to go out there and, like, this is what they did and blah, blah, blah. You know, because it's just this fucking, it's whatever. And also, like, I, I'm not here for the drama, dude. I don't, I don't, I want to build on shit, right? That's what I want to do. When I get on camera, when I talk to you guys, I want to build. I want to build up. There's no reason. Everybody could get paid. Everybody could be fed. Everybody could go get their goals. There's no reason to be competing with each other. So, I have a disagreement with them. Uh, I, I made it 
obvious because to be honest, yeah, I do want to, I want to make sure the audience knows like, yo, I'm, I'm on board with some things they do and then definitely not on other things they do. But that doesn't mean that I want other people to go tear down their characters. And that's not who I was raised to be. So I'm not going to do that. And also like at the end of the day, like I said, it, it came from them. Like I would not be where I'm at right now if God didn't put them in my life. So I'm mostly respecting them out of respect for God. God put them in my life, so I'm going to respect them. And if Would you have any advice for working with your friends? Yes, I do. I have a new one. Um, don't be scared of standing up for yourself. Because I think once you stop, like, once you let people take advantage of your kindness, it becomes a pattern, and that pattern, like, grows. And then, like, so if I let you disrespect me, uh, then now it's going to be funny for you to disrespect me. And now the guest is going to disrespect me. And now so-and-so is going to disrespect me. And in my mind, I'm like, if I'm sitting here trying to get you guys to go to a different level, to build you, to help you grow, if I'm not getting that same love, then are we friends? Are we friends? Because I'm cool to work with friends, but don't belittle me. Mm -hmm. Don't take what my parents sacrificed their life to get me to where I'm at and make it a joke. Don't cut things out to make me look bad. Like, don't... You, there was things that they did where it was... It wasn't dark humor. They weren't trying to be funny. It was literally to try to put you down or that's how you took it. Um, or was it like, I was supposed to be funny. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to sound like that. Or no, no. It was actually like, I hope this fucking hurts your heart. Like when I make fun of Tim's fucking forehead. It doesn't fucking face. I think, I think their, I think their jokes became, uh, more serious. Mm. And then at one point, I think you kind of laugh and then you're like, wait, are we fucking still joking? Or is this like continue? Is this like a real thing now? Um, but yeah, I think, I think it was my fault, bro. I, I think I should have kind of like been like, hey, you guys like, you know, chill out here, do this, do that. I've been more communicative. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't communicative. I'm scared of conflict when it comes to people I love. I'm scared of it, bro. I'm terrified of it. I don't want to disappoint you. I don't want you to be mad at me. So then you just dip. I just, I eat it. I eat it, I eat it, I eat it, and then one day I'll be like, I'll, it outweighs, and then I'm like, I'm out, Oof. I'm out. I think I need, I think I need to walk away. Um, but again, the reason, okay, here's another reason why I won't talk shit because, dude, my biggest prayer is that it does mend. Why the fuck do you want enemies? I don't want enemies. I don't want any. I don't want my friends to have enemies. I, there's no reason for it. You, we could all build together. If I'm going online and I'm trying to encourage this generation of America to stop being divided, how the fuck am I going to go out and try to divide my own home in front of people? It doesn't make sense. So I'm trying my best to, to do it, and I know I fuck up. I fuck up here, I fuck up there, and they do too. So I don't know. Right now I'm trying to figure it out. This is, this is the first time that I ever had something where it was the fucking world, bro. You know how weird yeah. it is walking up to people that you don't know and being like, so what's the deal? Look, he's a piece of shit, huh? And I'm like, yo, dude, that's my boy. Like, don't yeah. fuck it. I don't know you like that. Yeah, a little break. You guys will probably mend up. You I, ever watch I, Kill I Tony? The comedian. Kill Tony. Yeah, Tony, Tony Hinchcliffe. I only know bro. him because of the spaceship place, and I love his Mothership? stuff. Yeah, yeah, bro, the, the, Mothership? Yeah, it's the It's a live podcast. He's been doing it for, what, 10 years? On YouTube. Like, bro, it He'll is love it, the George. best fucking show. I've been binge watching it. It's like an hour and a half. They two, Over 200 comedians put their name in this bucket. He draws a bucket, and they have 60 seconds to do a stand-up. Whether they're good, first-timers, they fucking suck. They come up 60 seconds, then they interview them for like eight minutes. And just, if they suck, fucking roast them. <laughs> like, you feel if, bad. I, I yeah you you could definitely feel bad about some of them but uh they say some shit that you're like oh are you allowed to say that yeah oh yeah like you I, you should be getting arrested right now like you can't be saying <laughs> yeah, that. yeah it's, but it's good it's bro comedians up. are gonna be the reason why we get out of this kind of weird like bro I, you guys even remember when you used to say shit because you're like obviously no it's not how you feel but you, the people around you didn't need a fucking translator yeah. Like, oh, by the way, he doesn't actually make fun of people like that. And it's like, dude, like, oh, yeah. yeah, I fucking get it. It's sensitive. It's because, fuck, oh, now I'm venting. It's because everybody won a fucking trophy, bro. Is it? Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Listen, <laughs> not everybody deserves an opinion. It's like we forgot about the crazy people, bro. You get what I'm saying? No, no, Jessica's going like this. She's like, wrap it up. The crazy people are going to cancel you. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Listen, we're in a place right now where like, there's people outside. They're like, I don't get what you guys are talking about. We deserve to burn cats alive. And you're like, dude, that's fucking weird. But they get a vote because how dare you? They could burn cats. Throw an old school Eminem What if it's song? a sacrifice to their God? Uh, and that's the Illuminati. And that's how you... 
take it to the next level, which I would do that. But me and God have this relationship. Yeah, we're we're burning cool, cats. Man. It's we're pretty cats. cool. I see the devil. I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? He's like, it's hot in here. I go, I know. <laughs> yeah. Got all my friends. Uh, they're gonna clip that shit, bro. Fuck. <laughs> they're gonna fucking clip that shit. Do 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 do. Bro, I did a fucking when I did my first podcast. Um, I did it because I I felt I wanted to feel safe and just start my own podcast. And I and I told him like, yo, I'm gonna do my own podcast. Blah blah. blah. And as a joke, I started out as because I was still on the show. And there's a clip of me going like, dude, I walked in. It was a seance. And bro, nothing makes me fucking laugh more than when you're like, did you hear what Logan Paul's best friend said? <laughs> and they play this music and then you see my eyes get big and explain it. And I'm like, that's not how I meant it. But then when people ask me in real life, they go, yo, is he part of Illuminati? And I'll be like. Yeah. <laughs> they're trying to get me killed, bro. What the fuck? They're listening. And they're like, what? Like, Shh, I gotta go and just bounce. I can't believe they're in and out. I've been, been asked that multiple times. You've been loving having your own pod? I love it because I'm I'm growing. And like I watch other people's pod. I'm on like the twenty second episode, twenty third. And I feel like I'm be, every episode I get better, right? I get more comfortable. Like before you guys came on, I had to shit because like my, my stomach bubbles up because like it, it's I don't have anybody else. Like Belle was supposed to be here, but she got like really really bad allergies from Arizona where she had to like get like Fuck. steroid shots and it like knocked her out for a month. Yes. And she's in acting, so she can't she needs her face. Or she couldn't audition. Yeah. And so um, by the way, fuck, I was supposed to say that in the beginning. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> Belle's not here right now because fuck, she's gonna be so. Dude, she got mad at me. Um, she didn't get mad at me because she's like really good at like, she's a great sport. She's like my fucking best friend, dude. But I, uh, I was on Bradley Hart's <laughs> podcast and I blur the lines between funny and like not funny, right? So like I just, I like jokes that are not funny. I, I, I find them funny when people, are, uh, like I think it's humorous. You'll love Kill Tony then. Yeah, it's like the awkwardness. I live in the awkwardness. So, Bradley was like, yo, so how's your girlfriend? I'm like, oh, fuck, we like broke up. And I made this whole fake story <laughs> about how Steve will do it, stole my girlfriend. And I, and I was in the joke, I was like, Steve, you better not do it. And, but the motherfucker cut around all my jokes. And it's like a second clip of George Janko's girlfriend cheats on him with Steve will do it. And till this day, she gets like a hundred DMs a day. Be like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like you're going to cheat on the nicest guy on the internet. Yes. And so before I left, she looked at me in the eyes and she goes, do not fucking joke about me cheating on you. Okay. And I looked at her. I go, won't even bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> you just did. I did. <laughs> Yo, you guys are, fu by the way, you guys are wild. I watched a clip where you guys talked about Steve will do its girlfriend. You guys are wild. She's hot. Yeah, but like the way you were like, yeah, yeah, fuckable. Like, I don't know how you guys said it, but it's just like, dude, like in my heart, immediately I was like, oh my God. I was like, first of all, if it was my girlfriend, I'd be like, yeah, like right on. But like, I don't know, like I would never be able, I would have no way or shape or form of that confidence to be like, yeah, your girlfriend, bro, fucking bro, I'll blow her back up, bro. <laughs> Fuck, we didn't go that far. No, no, but, like, but it was like that energy. But is it because you guys could fight? You guys say that shit? No, I don't think though. I think that's more of a compliment to your boy. Yeah. Yeah. It better be like, Is yo, it your girl, ooh, I wouldn't yeah. hit it. Uh, I wouldn't hit that shit. I wouldn't. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to compliment somebody's wife next time I see her. Like, bro, yeah. your, your wife, bro. Excellent butt cheeks. Bro, yeah, great crazy cheeks. ass, dog. <laughs> yeah. She sucked it good? <laughs> you look like it. <laughs> like, Dude, that's my wife. She's holding my one-year-old son. You got to pick and chew. I mean, you like, can't say it to the wrong person. I wouldn't say it to any person, bro. Like, yeah. you'd be Stephen Hawking in a chair, and I'll be super still respectful. I'll be like, oh, sorry. And he'd be like, no worries. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to get canceled for sure for that one. We'll cut around that one. That was nice. <laughs> oh, by the way, just the FYI, I want a Zoom cut to him drinking that water. Jessica Janko. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see that shit? Yeah. He's an athlete. Look at him. That's gay. Oh, I got you your five gallons, okay? <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see me uh, fuck up him in basketball, come back. Uh, he's scared. He doesn't even want to place a bet on it, dude. Friendly bet. Friendly bet. Ten weeks. We'll play in 11 weeks. Well, we'll see. We'll play this year. Okay, but how about this? The bet is if you lose, you have to admit to everybody that you are good, but not as good as a That's pro. That's fair. Fair. I would definitely. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back. We're going we're gonna to have so much more fun and all of the excitement that we do when we wrap up the videos. Uh, and then like the video. And yep, that's it. Boom.